The wreckage of a great ocean liner, her bow deeply embedded in mud, lies where she sank 74 years ago. And only within the last few months have we been able to fix her location beyond any doubt, and only within the last few days have we begun to explore the site with a remote color television camera. As Nightline correspondent James Walker reports, once again, man's imagination and curiosity have combined to take us beyond another frontier. On the second and third deck, we see this crystal chandelier. You are looking at the first pictures ever taken of the interior of the Titanic, 74 years after she went down. It's a souvenir down. hunt to bring things back. I mean, even if they don't have enormous monetary value, although I'm sure you could sell them for a lot of money, just the, the urge to bring this stuff back after 74 years. Back after 74 years. What's up, everybody? This is Bamboo with a little bit of history by the numbers. July 18th, 1986. Footage of the Titanic wreck is shown to the public for the first time. Uh, we all know about this story. It's been romanticized and uh, all over pop culture and in movies. Uh, April 14th, 1912, the Titanic with 2,200 people on board or so hit an iceberg and apparently sunk. Uh, 1,500 people died, and um, that's the story. They say it was an accident, but uh, we know much of what they say about history is not so. Um, influences have major interests in uh, covering up stories like this. And in this instance, we do know that there were many prominent figures on board the Titanic um, that had major issues with the forming of the Federal Reserve Bank. And uh, so those influences behind the formation of the Fed Bank definitely had something to do with this. And it was in their interest to see this ship go down. How long ahead did they plan it? That's a good question. But um, let's just take a look at some of these numbers. Okay, so this is the Gematronator calculator. If anybody is not familiar with that, if you don't know much about Gematria, uh, I'll throw the link to this calculator in the description. But when I write out the uh, RMS Titanic, you get a 45, 144, and 72, some key numbers. The 144 and 72, as you see, sync up with the Jesuit order. One of the secret societies that are behind pretty much everything in this world, our entertainment, our history, and um, pretty much everything else, politics as well. Um, so you see those numbers, that's a pretty key match. Uh, ritual. Rituals happen all the time, every day, and they're disguised as other things, but ritual is 45, just like RMS Titanic. 74 years after it sunk, it was, uh, the footage was released. 74 years, type that out, you get 86, and that's a pretty key number, because that syncs up with the Jesuits. Also, the submersible they used to capture some of that footage was called Jason Jr., when you type that out, Jason Jr., you get a 47, and that's a very prevalent number. You see 47s pretty much everywhere. And here's uh, some key 47s you should know about. Government 47, Authority 47, the Cabal 47, the Trinity 47, or just Trinity 47. They've hijacked the Holy Trinity and use it against us. DC, like District of Columbia, 47 and Vatican 47. Very key 47s, we know all roads lead to Rome. So the 74, just like the 47, is a very important number. They're mirror numbers, so you see a lot of them together um, and for certain purposes. So 74s that are important, you should know about would be Jesus, Messiah, Gospel, Jewish, Cross, Lucifer, Masonic, Occult, London, Holiday, Killing, and another important one, I think, in this case, Drown, 74. How many people drowned on that night, as they say? Some 1,500 people. Uh, one thing I think is very key, Bankers and the Vatican, they match up in all four ciphers. And we know the Bankers are running this world. They're one of the evil cartel mafia members that are part of this secret society that run us into the ground and keep us as slaves. So some of those numbers I thought were pretty key, just scratching the surface on, on this date in history with this 
Um, if you want to know more, check out Dramatria Effect News and other people in that community. They're doing great work. Thanks for watching and bless up.